This is not my pajamas. This is my first grade speaking presentation outfit. I'm a photographer and a creative entrepreneur. I shoot people, places, and things, and I love photography because it's like magic. Thank you. Hello, good morning, superstars. Good morning. I'm Kathy Tran. I'm a photographer and a creative entrepreneur. I know those are some big words, but it pretty much means that I get to take pictures, do things for fun, and also run my own business. And I shoot a little bit of everything from people, places, and things. Can anyone tell me who the first person is? Good job, President Joe Biden. And then who can tell me what this is? Yeah, so that was fun. I shoot people, places, and things, but today I just wanna focus on two special things about me and my business. And uh, they actually start with, they're both F words. Food and family. Whoa. Yeah. So, why food and why family? Because I love celebrating special moments. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. Ooh. Yes. So you guys, raise your hand if you like popsicles. Uh, M&Ms. Donuts. Yeah, me too. Milk and cookies. And ice cream. Okay, I see some of the hands never went down. <laughs> yeah. So when I take pictures of food, I'm helping other businesses like restaurants show off what they make. And if my food photography looks so good it makes you want to eat it, then that makes people want to come and try their restaurants. Yeah. So with my food photography, I get to shoot for magazines and billboards and Instagram and websites and menus. And that all helps businesses show their food. Have you ever gone to a restaurant and you don't know what to order? But then you open the menu and it has really awesome Sunday ice cream on there. And that's what you end up ordering. That's what I do. I convince people to order food. I've got two different styles of food photography. So the first one is dark and moody. Raise your hand for pizza. Whoa. Yeah, I love pizza. Crawfish. Okay, got the teachers back there. Fried chicken. Yeah. Yeah, and my most favorite one, cheeseburgers. Yeah, I love cheeseburgers. Light food photography. This is something that I shot for a hotel called Omni Hotel. Yeah, and so they have a tea campaign that they serve by the pool and they said, I wanna get pictures that look like watercolor. So we shot this at my photo studio and these are all the drinks and foods that they were serving for this past summer. The other part of my business is doing family photography. And I love photography because it's like magic. I have a superpower of freezing time. I take pictures of families. They can look at these pictures for years to come. And that's why your mom and dad likes to keep taking pictures of you guys because you're not gonna be this cute Forever? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, so how many people have taken family photos? Ooh, that's everybody. No. Cell phones count too. Yeah, that's every day. <laughs> yes, they are. That is a drone shot, so I took it from all the way above. That's like an airplane camera. Wow! Okay. And sometimes I get to travel for that. So we've even gone to California to the top of a mountain to get family pictures. So I love food and family. And the thing that they have in common is that I love to celebrate the heart of a moment. I love special moments and I wanna freeze them forever. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is my camera collection. I've got over a hundred cameras. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Why do I have so many? Because I'm a collector. I love cameras. 
Exactly. Okay, so I know you guys are learning about goods and services. Who knows what goods are? Blue hoodie. Like, like a goods? What is it that you're selling in the coffee shop that makes it a goods? Coffee. coffee that's a goods. You? <coughs> yes, so goods is something that you can touch. So in my business, prints, when families um, come take photos, I print pictures for them and then they get to take it home. So that's a goods. What's a service? Yes, so it's something that you do for somebody else. So it's like a service. So if you're at the coffee shop, the service would be a barista making coffee. So those are the, the two things that I do is I sell prints and books, canvases of pictures that I take, and then I take pictures for people and that's the service. Let's talk about this really special word. Whoa. Can you guys say this word? Oh, you guys are good. Let me hear it again. Entrepreneur. Okay, say it really slow and louder. Entrepreneurship. Nice. So what does that mean, guys? No idea? Okay. I'll put you on some game then. It means being creative and starting your own business. Nice. Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a creative one, though. I get to do fun stuff. So, with having your own business is like being a captain of your own ship. So you're in charge of your own business. I did. That's a picture of me when I was 15 years old. Did you actually do that in the box? Yes, that is my cardboard box. It's my teddy bear. Did you actually do it in the ocean? No, it's in Photoshop. Yeah, just a picture. With magic. The magic of Photoshop. What does it mean to run a small business? What have you guys learned so far? What does it take? A lot of time, yes it does. Brains, yes, brains. Birthday boy, girl. Technology, that helps a lot. So let's go over what it takes for me to run a small business. So as a photographer, this is my very special place. This is my photo studio. Oh, I want that to be my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I will show you the layout of my photo studio. This is photo studio number one. Photo studio number two. Two offices down here. A meeting space. Another office space. This is where I office out of the circle window. As a photographer, you don't need a photo studio to do business. You can always go to the location to shoot. This is what it looks like on the inside. Lots of natural light. We've got paper rolls here, white boxes here, a bit of furniture and a really nice cool background of a backyard. So this is my magic space where families come to take their pictures. And then all the pic some of the pictures that you saw of the food, I took here as well. So it's full of natural light. Oh, thank you, girl. Thank you. I'll take a applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so in the studio, we have all white. So that way, it reflects light better. It's a good, neutral starting point to take pictures. Not every photographer has a photo studio because this is an extra cost. So when you start paying for rent or mortgage, which is where you live, and if you have another shop or a business at a different location, then you have to pay pretty much double the rent. So that's another space. So when you start small, you don't have to have your space. You can have your business where you go to them, or you can just have an online digital business as well. So let me ask you guys this. What if your favorite ice cream shop moves far, far away, three hours away. Do you think your mom and dad would take you guys to this ice cream shop every day? No. That's too long. How long does it take for you to get to school? Uh, like minutes. Minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Wow. Thank you. Less than 10 minutes. 
That is so close. Location is so important of where your business is going to be. So if you have an ice cream shop, would you have it at the North Pole? No. It's too cold. It's too cold to eat ice cream. Maybe a hot cocoa place. That could work. So you have to think about where you're going to put your business. So for me, my strategy of getting repeat customers is that my photo studio is five minutes from downtown Dallas because most of my clients and customers are in downtown Dallas. Because I'm five minutes away, it's easy for them to come to me or for me to go to them. And that makes it easy for people to keep coming back. So it's best to have repeating customers. So another thing that makes up my business is my team. And a small business is like a little community where everybody works together. You're right, you have to have a lot of, you gotta work with other people in a business, right? So just like everyone here who has a role, everyone on my team has a role as well. I am the CEO and photographer. My fiance, future husband back there, Daniel. He's the videographer. Yeah. Uh, we have an executive assistant. She handles all the contracts, the paperwork, the scheduling, the bookings. And then we have a content creator. Does anyone know what that is? No. Okay, so a content creator is someone who makes content. So she does photos and videos, but what she does is she follows me around while I take pictures so that I can post on the internet and show other people behind the scenes of the work that I do. So it's kind of funny that I'm a multimedia company that still has to show people that I do multimedia. So we have the content creator. Then we have a production assistant. And this person, they help clean the studio. They help me set up lights. They move lights around. They organize the equipment. They charge batteries. So it's all the things that we need help with in our business. And then I have two photographers, and this is where my team comes in handy, where we split up. And these are two people that have a very similar style to my photography, so I can trust them. So when I send them out, the photos will look just like my photos. So a lot of times when I send another photographer out, they will give me the pictures and then I will edit them to make sure that it all looks the same. And then the most important role is my dog, Coco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has a very important role. She is the head of security at our photo studio. Yeah, it's so cute. Really? Spelled the same way? C-O-C-O? -C -O? Yeah, that was my first dog's name was C-O-C-O. -O. All right, so yes, she takes her job very seriously. So she likes to bark, 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 bark at the front door yes, but yeah but once she sniffs you and you give her a smile and a pet then she's very nice she likes to sit in your lap she's what yeah my security dog superhero mask yeah so another strategy is how do you get people to remember you or your ice cream shop how do people remember my photography business so let's dive a little deeper into logos and branding. Who knows what that is? A logo is what you put on everything you make and it's how people know where it's from and... Amazing, exactly. So a logo is the icon and it falls under the brand, which is the way everything looks. It's a family of logos, colors, pictures that people can remember you. So just like superheroes that have symbols <coughs> businesses have logos so who's this Superman. Superman. Wonder 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 flash just like photography so that's you guys remember them so quickly right so when you have a business you should have a logo so that way when you have your product or your service or in my instance my pictures I'll put my stamp right on the photo to let people know that that's my special mark and that's my magic touch on the photos that I've taken. So I'm gonna show you guys my logo, okay? I have two that I'm gonna show you guys. Yes. So the first one on the left is my business logo. That's the mama logo of all of my businesses. So, and then the one 
on the right side, that's my personal logo for who I am as a person. So it's still part of the business, but I get to be a little bit independent. So if I go on YouTube and I want a brand deal, or if I have my own Instagram account, then that's my own personal branding and not necessarily my business, but they are all connected. I have more than one superpower. Wow! I have a family of logos under my business. They're all, they all look kind of similar and they all have their own special color. So the first one, KT Creatives, that's the agency, that's the mom. That's where I have multiple photographers that help me shoot pictures. And then there is Kathy Tran Eats. That's the chopsticks right there so that people remember that I love noodles and soup and food. All the food photography goes here. And then for family, we have Kathy Tran Love. That's for all families, weddings, engagements, seniors. And then the last one is Kessler Studios. And that's for my photography studio near Kessler Park. And now everyone can associate my studio color with this kind of green. The next thing you would wanna have is a website. So it took me 20 years to finally get the URL, kathytran.com. So once you get your business name, make sure you look it up and see if it's even available before you name your business. I didn't realize how many Kathy Trans were out there in the world, so I hope they like my logo. So this is my website, this is for mobile. So if you have an ice cream shop and you have a website, people can go on there and they can look at the pictures, the videos, they can look at the reviews, but most importantly, they can look at the menu of all the flavors that you guys have. So when you go up into the ice cream store and you wanna make an order, you know exactly what you want to get. So pretty much entrepreneurship just means that you get to be creative and run your own business. You're my hero. And I hope that you guys are just as lucky as me to find your superpower that you can make money off of. Show me the money. But the other thing you have to be careful about is if you really love what you're doing, like if you really love ice cream and you want to make ice cream, when you start to have a business, you start having business responsibilities, which might take you away from ice cream. So you have to kind of find that balance of loving ice cream and love having a business and love managing and supporting a team. You guys have been such an awesome audience. I will take my applause now. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, it's a long one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll take questions now. Okay, you. It, uh, I have a, um, a designer dog. It is 100% Chihuahua. Coco is a 100% Chihuahua. She's this big, five pounds, exactly. Yeah. Uh huh. Teacher. Yes. Okay. So I actually went to an art school from seventh grade to senior year. It was an art magnet in Richardson. I started with collages, paintings, and drawings. But I always like to joke that I don't have the patience to have to wait for acrylic and oil to dry. So every time I came to my art class, I would carry my own blow dryer to make sure that I can get to the next layer of painting. But from there, I ended up choosing photography because I love technology. And when you do art, sometimes it gets really lonely because you're painting by yourself. But with a camera, I can work with a lot of people and it makes it so much more fun. So I started photography because I love people and I love technology. Oh, that's a good question. I have been in my, my photography business for the last 15 years. How old are you guys? Seven. Woo! All right, so you've been around for half of my business. So what about the coolest like drawing you used or photos? Like, have you ever gone to like different countries? Okay, so I got to go to, um, I think on my slide, here, Israel. 
So I was there for two weeks and I went on a mission trip with the church in Dallas. Yeah. But, and they, there was 75 people and they were 80 years old and up. So the trip was very slow. And I got to take pictures of everything that they did for two weeks. We were on a bus, we went to different areas, we tried so many food, and I got to capture all of it for the church to have. And then that way, they can use those photos for their pamphlets to sell for the next trip of people who want to go. So that's my, my fun trip that I got to do was Israel. Hmm, okay, let me have you guys take a guess. Food or family, all right? Raise your hand for food. Second hand for family. Interesting. You guys are wrong. I love food because I love to eat. Yeah. Uh, you were the last one. I was born in Texas. We, I, it's a small town called Beaumont, Texas, which is an hour away from Houston. Yeah, they were born in Vietnam, so I'm Vietnamese American. Vietnamese American, yeah. But I was actually adopted when I was 14 years old by my by my elementary school counselor. Yeah. So my mom and dad, they couldn't um, give me all the opportunities that I wanted and that I needed as an artist. So when I was adopted by my elementary school counselor and her husband, they took me to museums and they took me to art shows. So they really helped nurture my creativity. Is that your pajamas? This is not my pajamas. <laughs> this is my first grade speaking presentation outfit. <laughs> Thank you for the eyes. I see you guys, I'm watching. Yeah. All right, so remember when we were talking about logos and branding? I have my own stickers, so what I'm gonna do is, if you can raise your hand and tell me what you learned today, I will give you my sticker. And I have limited stickers. This is what it looks like. And then this one, this one is clear, so you can put it on your computer. Uh, yeah. I learned that photographers see people um, take pictures of their food for like menus. Yes. We do take pictures for menus. I learned that the photographers um, need more tools um, than the cameras. Exactly. We need lights and we need security guards. Can you pass this one over to him? Okay, black jacket. Uh, you, you want to have lots of people so that you can do more things and get more money for your business. Very well put. Show me the money. What do you think you're going to do? with the business that you're opening up. Yes, that is true. Lots of hard work. Thank you guys. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Kathy, you have a surprise. From? Take a look. Good shepherd. Take a look at the backs. Oh my god! That is so cute. This is so many. Wow. Miss Kathy, thank you for coming to our school to talk about your business. My business is an art spa, the name is LL Art Spa. I love your business and I hope my business is good too. That's, That's cute. cute, Evelyn. Thank you, Miss Kathy, for, this is so sweet. Cute. Those are great. There's so many, I've never received this stack before. Daniel, they got something on your love letters here. You got some competition <laughs> on love letters. Look at my flowers. Wee! 